So I came all the way from Phoenix, Arizona to talk to you about my second act. And I just have to say, I've already started saying y'all again. So didn't take long. They tell me I only have five minutes, so heck, I can't even say hello in five minutes, so I better get started. <laughs> My first act was all about being a single mother and working for corporate America. I was a successful at both, and I'm now proud to say that I have a very um, a grown son that contributes to society, and he is just awesome. Um, with the help of mentors along the way, I developed many skills in finance, human resources, and finally in corporate training. One of my many skills I learned was developed through interpersonal skills. I love seeing others, I love serving others and seeing the light in their eyes when they get it. You know that moment when the gleam comes in and they say, oh, I can do this. I love that. So in 2000, I made a dream board. Have any of you ever made a dream board? Awesome. That's awesome. So my dream board, I wanted to be a motivational speaker at a national event. And who would have thought that cancer the cancer journey would have brought me to my dream 14 years ago. So in 2005, I was diagnosed as stage four breast cancer and given about three to four months to live. Now, if I can't say hello in five minutes, I sure as hell can't say goodbye in three months. The timing was not perfect for me. My son was in college. I had a job I loved. I financially was doing well. And I was just too damn busy for cancer. But as you all know, sometimes God has other plans. So I start, stand here today, nine years later, still in treatment. And I want you to know I'm pursuing my second act. I believe my true life purpose is to be a vessel of hope. So let me define hope for you. Healing, optimism, and personal empowerment. I am a partner in a small business called Open Wings of Hope. And with the help of my awesome caregiver and my best friend, Teresa Scott, we turned something we were forced into, this crazy business of cancer, and we created a, a cancer survivor's manual. And it helps newly diagnosed patients and their caregivers with a tool to help them navigate through their own personal journey. <laughs> we encourage patients to spend time getting well and not researching ways to manage the journey. Other aspects of the business are patient advocacy and specialized life coaching for those touched by cancer. I believe the answer for healing and discovering your purpose is already within you. My job is to help you discover it. Since I had no financial backing and I started marketing through a small volunteer group and I found one of these organizations purchased 100 books for me and that gave me some backing. But today I tend to give away way more than I sell because the purpose was really about helping others. I'm also a founding member and sit on the board of Arizona Cancer Survivors Circle of Strength. That's a mouthful. <laughs> we are located in Phoenix, Arizona, and we are a nonprofit group of volunteers previously touched by cancer, which provides services to individuals, families, and other cancer-related organizations that may benefit from our experiences. We provide a mentorship program, a listening year, and an opportunity to belong to a community and resources that enable an active role to others on their own journey. We have found that those touched by cancer want to give back to the community in a meaningful way. Additionally, I was asked to sit on the board of Send Me On Vacation. As chairman of organizational development, big title, 
<laughs> Send Me on Vacation is a nonprofit organization that sends women survivors on a vacation to, to the first step in their emotional healing. And in, in 2015, our initiative is to partner with corporate organizations, providing them with employee and manager cancer toolboxes that they can use at the workplace. I don't have to tell you that surviving is so much more than a mind, body, and spirit experience that affects relationships, finances, health, social aspects of life, and mental aspects of life. Knowledge and hope, remember, healing, optimism, personal empowerment, help to eradicate the fear and depression, creating a smoother road to healing. So a message came to me in a dream, and I believe I was meant to share it with you. So here it is. Your time as a caterpillar has expired, and your wings are ready. The sound of hope is our wings learning to fly. So take flight. Thank you.